glaciers are beautiful. Powerful and bountiful. Chunks of glacier ice falling into the water have become a popular and iconic scene around the world. Watching scenes of these massive ice monsters inspires a sense of wonder and amazement. How big are glaciers? Are they dangerous? How do they form? Are they disappearing? Wait, are these mammoth chunks of ice alive? Let's travel to the home of glaciers and discover everything you've ever wanted to know about glaciers. Hi, I'm Jerry. Welcome to Event for Globe, your guide to event for events all around the globe. We've been so lucky to visit many glaciers all around the globe and today we answer your glacier questions. Question number one. How dangerous are calving, collapsing glaciers? They are dangerous. Glaciers are huge. Some of these chunks of ice are the size of whales or even entire ships. You might be keen to get up close and personal with these on a glacier sightseeing tour. But believe me, you do not want to be right under these when they're calving. It won't be an excursion, but an execution. Look out below! Every year, kayakers and hikers are sadly killed by these incredible beasts of nature. Contrary to common belief, calving glaciers are not unnatural. Glaciers have been calving for millions of years, and a calving glacier doesn't necessarily mean it's disappearing. Watch on, and we'll explain more in question number six when we discuss disappearing glaciers. Question number two, how big are glaciers? Glaciers are ginormous! Although each glacier differs in size from another, even smaller glaciers will make you feel like a tiny ant. Massive glaciers like the Vatna Yoku Glacier in Iceland are just mind-blowing. This glacier is the largest in Europe and it's over 3,100 square miles. 7,900 square kilometers! That's a chunk of ice bigger than the US state of Delaware. Question number three. Are glaciers alive? You may be surprised by the answer. Yes, glaciers are alive. Of course they don't all come to life and throw giant glacier parties at night. On second thought, maybe they do. Glaciers are very much alive in that they are actually teeming with life. Ice worms, as they are known, thrive by living inside glaciers' ice throughout North America. Contrary to myth, however, ice worms don't grow to 50 feet long and do not give glaciers their color. Which brings us to our next question. Why are glaciers blue? The ice that I have in my water is clear, so why is glacier ice blue? Glacier ice is the densest ice on the planet. Due to the crazy amount of pressure put on the ice over thousands of years, there are few air bubbles to scatter the light. Thus, glacier ice absorbs red and yellow light, which means that only blue light is reflected back into our eyes. This is why we see glaciers all around the world as a beautiful blue. And if I were to put glacier ice into my water, it would also take much longer to melt because of the same density that gives glacier ice its amazing blue color. Try it! At your own risk! Don't say we didn't warn you about the ice worms! Next question, how are glaciers formed? Glaciers are formed by many tons of snow piling up each year, faster than it can melt. As the snow stacks up higher and higher, it becomes compressed and increases in density. 
over many years, the ice becomes more and more densely packed and often gets pushed down into lower elevations until it meets the point where it either melts or calves into a large body of water like a bay or a lake. Next question, are glaciers disappearing? Unfortunately, glaciers are disappearing. Just recently, Iceland held a funeral for one of its glaciers that died and will never rise again. Many glaciers are melting faster than they can be replaced with more snowfall. But fear not, you can help glaciers survive. We've included a link in the description below with glacier friendly tips and resources. And now, where can you find glaciers? Glaciers can be found on every continent with the largest in Antarctica. Many glaciers are easily accessible, such as those found in Europe and North America. Imagine an afternoon stroll on a glacier. We thoroughly enjoyed climbing on top of glaciers that we drove and biked to in North America and Europe. Where have you seen glaciers? What's one glacier on your ice bucket list? Please let us know in the comments below. And if you have more questions, leave it in the comments too. We'll do our best to answer them. If you've enjoyed this video, we highly recommend you check out our video on Whirlpools, where we answer our viewers' top questions about these deadly but beautiful phenomena. Before you go, please stick your eyes pick into the subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications. Don't forget to like, share while you're at it. Thank you. See you next time.